I don't know that I give a duck what we find on that slab. Hey there, folks. I'm Zero Fall. Hey, I'm Serious GG. And we're Cobra's headed to the morgue. Space Adventure Legendary thing. <laughs> yeah. We're heading for the Black Tower. If Oh, you know what my thing does. Uh, What's your thing do? My controller uh, does not turn back on until I press a button. I think your controller just wanted to see that chick's boobs again. Probably. Speaking of knocking, we're going to do that last. There's the Black Tower. So this is like Lord of the Rings, the Four Towers. Yuck! A morgue, cold slab city, or what? <laughs> the door is shut. The door oh, is this not a door. Open air morgues. <laughs> I wonder if it's up. Thank God they voice acted the knocking. No one's home. I don't know if you voice acted something. Like Paul Eating came in and was like, knock, knock, knock. Oh, hey. Wow, that's a quite the outfit. God. You know, that's, I think that was designed for the uh, hot chick and he just got his hands on it. The morgue watchman is a froggy who lives in the marsh lands of Mercury. So are we meant to take it that that's really what they're called and it's not just him being a racist? I think so, but also he lives in the marshlands of Mercury in the morgue in a different <laughs> planet. Oh, yeah. See Summers here at the morgue. Hey, how you doing, pal? <laughs> what a stupid question. Go on home. <laughs> how you doing? Well, there you go. We don't get in. Now, yeah, that's a stupid question. I gotta remember how you guys talk. Although I'm already making him start to sound a little bit like Gilbert Gottfried. We know someone's home. He's just not bothered to answer the door because... The door's closed. How many knocks do I have to do to get in here? How many knocks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll morgue? Well, so we know where the informant is. We just don't know how to get in there. We don't know he's in there, but... We know. He's nowhere else. <laughs> We've searched the rest of the universe. So I'm assuming we got to head our way back to uh, Jane. And I'm assuming you're going to have to do some kind of visual post-editing on that door. Sorry about that. I did not remember that specifically when I recommended <laughs> oh, this Oh, I game. knew there was going to be problems. Oh, that's right. We just probably end up going up to her and talking to her. And suddenly it's like, what did you think to you? Let's try looking at Angel Square again. We're going to talk to her and she's going to look at her and go, Oh, it's exactly 620 and the guy's not. Oh, hey, here he is. They are right on time. No, he was supposed to be here at 6, wasn't he? Oh, maybe it takes us 20 minutes to get here. That's what it was. Find anything? Just sweaty bodies. Just sweaty bodies. Which is exactly what I was looking for. Hey, sweetie, go on my way. What? All right, that's the same. Did we, did we talk to... Oh, I mean, you're menuing with uh, speed and precision, which is great, but did we talk to all the different people who are available here? There's not, I guess, there that many just different customers people. There's at one counter. customer at counter, okay. The other person's not a customer. make me think you could look at Butt Lady, and she's different. You, you can look, look at, at customers all together, but you can only... And they're all scum suckers. And if we look at area... There's the bar. bar. Okay. All right. I'm almost thinking it was the Golden Tower that Did we didn't you know where we with. haven't been, actually? Where? The parking lot. Well, then that's where we started, I think. Yeah, but it wasn't uh, 6 o'clock yet. 
I lost you. I might be just running a tiny bit late. Now we fly back to that abandoned building that Rock Knight and that lady were playing their concert in. He's just there still rocking out. Well, no, I'm saying the informant is, turns out to be Rock Man. He sees Rock Knight, he just takes off the mask. Hey, guys, I'm a duck. Any duckmen around here? Private dicks? Uh, yep, he's the town dunk. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him around lately. He's probably dead. Go to the morgue. Now the door will open. Yeah, pretty much. Well, we have to look and make sure dead. we don't see the informant here. He's probably dead. He is probably dead. Mickey's brothers. Oh, so that, well, they're both men, eh? That's the future. With breasts. Oh, oh yeah. With breasts. Look, informant. No one's here. All right. We've now not seen the informant everywhere. In the universe. We can't possibly leave this uh, building right now, so this is our universe. Well, it's a town. It's a city, I guess. So, yeah. Well, they call it a city, but... Maybe the population density is high enough in four towers? Well, I mean, the four towers contain everything you could possibly need. Parking, a titty bar, a pro wrestling arena, and a morgue. Why would you ever need to leave the city? It's not a titty bar, it's a disco. I should be more respectful. There are uh, storage doors, that sliding doors, that appear to belong in a titty bar, but... Yes, at the disco, there's only women dancing uh, very... Well, I don't know. You can't tell if they're actually wearing pasties or not, because maybe their species just has literally golden nipples. With little um, tassels hanging off of them. No, I guess you didn't have those types of pasties. Find anything? Just sweaty bodies. Yeah. All right, we've reached that point of the game. This is exactly the same as the last part now. It is exactly the same. It's slightly more interesting locations in my mind, but... Well, so I'm thinking you go north and then try hitting these two squares. Yeah, I think you have to look at the square. Probably have to times. look for informant at every single location. I just know that eventually we'll look at the square and a light will shoot up from the trumpet in the middle there, and <laughs> any face in there will it'll be Doctor Light. That's just going to be that. You know, precious little happened at the Angel District late, uh, last time. Well, I mean, maybe one of those uh, butts that we saw was a duck butt. Ooh, girl, was that there before? Yes, yes, it was. This place is called Angel Square. That's no surprise. I can see that it's appropriately named. It's, this place is called the Clippy Sound. Well, you gotta go back, man. I don't think we've exhausted our angel possibilities. There's some angels flying too close to the ground. They're Ooh, cute, cute dangerous. dangerous. I'll carry handguns. I don't they're, remember that. We might not have looked at everything here. Yeah, they're, they're, they might carry handguns, and it, they seem to have the same type of handguns we do. I <laughs> gotcha. Can we ask handguns? No. But just the... Don't know. Don't know. Don't care. Do, do. Now maybe... I'm thinking if we search every single place for informant and told they're not here, maybe something will trigger the Golden Palace? Maybe? Do you know what? I even looked at the sidewalk here before, actually, already. And I know you're looking at that mural. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm curious if maybe he's... Uh... Oh, we can bet now, for some reason. Bet on the informant. <laughs> oh. 
Why did the music stop? That's kind of weird. Can't imagine why the music would stop. Why does it say the safe was, the slot was saved? I don't know what that means. Hey, don't call All it original safe hardware. Slot, you don't... Whoa. I see, I see. Why would you give this information for free? Tipster, eh? You might know a thing or two about the information. Info. Oh. Yep, I got some info. He's over at the Playgirl. Well, surely we can look at the tipster and find out about his... Is that a really wide smile or a mustache? <laughs> tipster, eh? Third mark. Apparently I can't bet. That sucks. Well, but now, if this guy turns out to be at the bar now because the tipster said he was, that's the kind of game we're playing, but... Just in case he's here gambling instead. Nope, just a little gelatinous crab. I've got to play the entire... It's like, this is the one place where they call why him the, the snitch. Why is he the tipster everywhere else? Yeah, it makes you think that you're onto something, and then it's like, nah, it's just a weird, inconsistent thing. So, I, I'd like to apologize to everyone for recommending this game is your fault. <laughs> you don't have to yawn in the middle of the let's play. Sorry, I just, yeah. no, but it's, uh, <laughs> We're all I thinking mean, it, of, but you don't have to say Some of the it. atmosphere stuff I actually find pretty amusing, but this mechanic of, like, you have to look at everything ten times is getting old. Yep, it's a classic Japanese adventure game. Yeah. Um, oh, there was, there was stuff wrong with ours. The pixel hunts and uh, the mazes to elongate game. Just sweaty bodies. Come no on. No moon logic Someone puzzles so here. far. Come on. Oh, hold on, look. Rat. There's a guy behind the bar who wasn't there before. Oh, my God. Wait, so that guy on top of the bar is a customer? No, he's the bartender. He wasn't there before, I think. He's the town punk. He's the town punk. Uh, ask Grandpa Brewski about him. They're good buddies. Are you not going to tell us about Grandpa Brewski? Okay, good. Are you not going to tell Have a drink down in the cellar. See that ladder over there in the corner that's been there this whole time? Go down from there. We're going down. We're yelling timber. Well, clearly, they're going to seal you in because it's some kind of trap, right? Oh, cool. We got a variation on uh, the last ladder. We're going to have to fight fishmen again. Oh, man. But these ones will fight... be coming out of the wine instead of out of the water. <laughs> fight barflies to come out of the... Hmm. The liquor barrels smell real nice. I have a mixture of wood and urine down here. It's a huge distillery. No one in sight. There's no one around. Or in sight. Yell Brewski. Hello? Is anybody home? No one answered. Alright, wait. Oh. Wait, can you look? Hello? Can you look? Oh. What's you that yell noise? yell twice? Yep. Keep yelling until the noise changes. Hmm. Now look inside. Ah, the sound came from that big distillery over there. It's bourbon. Pink bourbon. Or bourbon that's mixed with the blood of a duck man. Hey, look who it oh. is. A pig person? It's bourbon. Bourbon, the name of that guy floating around? Gets in 
Wait a second. So the guy who. <laughs> so the guy who dives into bur well, okay, I was about all right. Let me finish my thought, and then tell you why it was a stupid thought. So the guy who dives into the bourbon is amused by you saying something like the glass gets just gets in the way. I mean, clearly his mind is already operating that way. And then I'm like, wait, maybe a guy who's swimming in a vat of bourbon is primed to laugh at just about anything. So. Oh, that rat. Rita's henchman hauled him off. Uh-oh. Who's Rita? Rita Skeeter. The underground pro wrestling owner. Mm. Oh, wow. What are we wow, follow so, up with that? So you go to the Gold Palace. There's much pro <laughs> wrestling going on. Yes. But then, if you go down a ladder that's been in the corner the whole time, there's the underground pro wrestling. Well, wait a second. No, no, no. You got that wrong. You got to go to the pro wrestling palace. And talk to a tip guy there who gives you the name of a guy this person hangs out with at the bar. And when you go to the bar, after you know that person's name, a bartender appears that wasn't there before to tell you about a ladder that wasn't there before that you go down. And you talk to the guy to find out that you need to go to the pro wrestling place. <laughs> We're doing this sort of Mobius strip here. How should I know where this game thinks it's going? Just ask about Rita one more time, just in case. The two bosses in this neck of the woods are Bogart and Rita. They both own underground pro wrestling arenas. Well, arenas, they don't, they don't even have, like, competing wrestlers. They own competing arenas. Yep. The Gold Tower and the Silver Tower, I guess. She's at the Golden Palace. I wouldn't go near her if I were you. She'll rip your heart out and have it for... Lunch. You thought it was going to be breakfast? I thought it was going to be for goddess. I don't even know what that means. Alright, that's the end of the... You gotta ask everything one more time just in case. Got a drinking problem? Or, no, it's probably you asking that. Got a drinking problem? Oh, I made the stuff and I'll drink it. Oh, damn well. Please. Listen, M Mega Man, Dr. Wawi. <laughs> Move. Go back up. You know, when we started yelling and no one was saying anything, I was 100% sure we were going to get trapped in here. <laughs> so far, the game hasn't ever gotten us into a situation where we render it unwinnable. Just oh, impossible I mean, I mean, to figure out what you're supposed to do. Now, do not, do not, do not leave without talking to her and having her to say nothing new. Oh, we oh, found something. Actually... This spy was caught by the guy who runs the underground pro wrestling scene. You mean the lady? Her name's Rita? Come on, man. I was just like, okay, I'm not interested. <laughs> she says funny thing. You know, voice act this part and she doesn't react to what you say. But <laughs> yep. There's a part of me that thinks if you didn't tell her before we left, <laughs> Rita would not appear to... Oh, she's coming with us. Okay, she's coming with us. Well, now we know the plot's advancing. Yeah. Let's both walk to this music. I I don't remember, but I sincerely hope that when we meet her sisters, they are palette swaps of her who walk around in mazes with us. That's why they have tattoos that only appear... Like, they're like those uh, color-changing yes. cars that used to get... But like Zartan, the action figure, he turns blue when you put him in cold water or whatever. No, but it's only on their backs. So otherwise, from the front, you can just palette swap the colors and have yeah. them walk. Not oh, hey, this guy's still here. <laughs> he didn't leave and go to the morgue for some reason. Hold your bets. Garcia's going to shred him. Garcia, eh? Mm -hmm. She's one of the two big bosses. They, uh, they both own pro wrestling businesses. Oh, he doesn't think they're underground. Oh, it's it's um, Jim Crockett and uh, Vince McMahon here. It's Bogart. He owns the monster. Garcia. Well, she's right. one of the two big bosses. Mm. One of the two big bosses. So Dave Hader and uh, what's his name? The other guy. <laughs> He's actually more famous than David. The, the the guy from Cops? <laughs> no, the uh... 
God. Keeper Sutherland. The two big, the two bosses. Garcia's been kicking the hell out of Rita's boys. Oh, he's a mobster. He should probably talk like this. The wrestlers are in the arena. No, no. <laughs> Rita and Bogard usually like, hang there. Yeah, we're getting a lot of info in a row here. Yep. All right, well, I guess we're gonna move move along. Last match is supposed to start. Garcia versus Spade. Why can't we? Hey, my, uh, are any of these lines mine by any chance or no? Nine to one for Garcia. Hey, my money stays in my pocket. Pay your money, Pay your money and take your chances. Yeah. I guess we're gonna go on, go on. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Okay, but watch out. She stings like a scorpion. Whoa. Like the black scorpion. That wrestling reference, guys. Two of the people in the crowd had to leave so that her spray could show up and look to the left. Yeah, they couldn't be here getting hit by her boobs as they swing around. This is where it all happens. Everything that's ever happened happens here in one of the two wrestling arenas in this city, apparently. It all happens. They're really going for it, huh? Looks like a cross between boxing and wrestling. Well, at least we know he's saying that, not her, because he thinks that when she's not here. The yes, goes. I think you can cut it with a knife. That's my thoughts. Don't claim <laughs> them for yourself. Oof. Next style. Oh, what's next cooking? Time. This doesn't feel like it's the next aisle. Two doors. Someone's standing in front of the door. Mr. Bogard. Louis Terry Bogard of Art of Fighting or Final Fury, Fatal Fury fame. Oh, no, it's not. Look, man. Look, man. King Kong reincarnated. Well, that seems a little much. Talk, man. Is it read in? The boss is busy. What do you want? A date. How about a concussion? Sounds pretty neat. Okay. Stand still. Out of my way. You death beat it, or I'll bust your chops. And no fear using a psycho gun. <laughs> Such temper, you should add more fiber to your diet. That doesn't even follow. Oh, we got seizure punched. Ow, what's next? Fight. <laughs> Psycho kick. Game. Punch or kick. I'm glad we have punch or kick and it's not... This guy that I provoked into striking me now should be shot with my psycho gun. Yep. I should have punched him first. We know the answer is always kick because you have more reach. Well, I mean, did you, did you save state? Can we go back? We want to make sure we have 100% clear here. I did not. Chuck him outside with the truck. Damn, this game is being really mean to this anonymous bouncer character. Oh, I see, uh... It's the creepy, uh, I hover in front of somebody's crotch droid. <laughs> yeah, nothing going on back here. A couple of meatheads, probably Rita's wrestlers. And as a wrestling promoter, Rita, of course, lounges sexfully across some kind of chaise lounge. A total knockout. Must have been born on Venus. With that transparent white skin, after all. Yeah, you can see your organs completely. It's just kind of disturbing looking, actually, but, you know, to each his own. It's one of those see-through fish. Don't like that <laughs> around. Rita. I think you're gonna need a new dorm, man. And why is that? Because he let me in. <laughs> Even if I didn't punch him, you'd still want to fire him. <laughs> The spy's a Ducknian. He's here, isn't he? He's a bad mother ducker. I heard your dra your henchman dragged him off. Heard your dragons henched him off. <laughs> <laughs> so is that so? <laughs> Robots they could I could use him. I mean you 
<laughs> I could use you. him. Why don't you give him back? Question mark. All right. I'll return him to you tomorrow. In a coffin. Apologize to random informant. <laughs> in hell. He's not random. He's the only duck the informant in the place. He's a bad mother ducker. Wait, that's actually the end of this conversation? Yes. So oh, I have find to go back to the bar, right, right here, right and here. then to the morgue, and then to the bar again, and then to the parking lot before this. Plot thread, can you advance? She's got the hots for me, that's for sure. How about that killer smile? All right, now that we think she has the hots for us, maybe we can ask her something different. Oh, she just talks Dead to her Dead men don't talk. I need. Oh, you said this probably. Dead men don't talk. I need a real life spy. Unbeatable Instead, what got a... knocked out in 30 seconds, and I lost five million dollars. Well, it's a good thing we know they use dollars in future space. Hmm. What a weird time for them to randomly start voice acting. Yeah, five million dollars. Hey, I don't have that type of cash. I could barely cover the fictional parking expense. Okay, here's my offer. If you agree to repay the five million dollars. The money's not the problem unless you're saying that. <laughs> you're on deck for the final match in place of my wrestler. Who, me? Yeah, you. Get into that ring. You're up against my main man, Garcia. Beat him, and the rat is yours again. Oh, man, what a cliffhanger this will be. <laughs> well, maybe after we accept or refuse. It depends on how much time is left. <laughs> what we got to do here is save the state. Well, what are you talking about? And refuse. I didn't see anything like that. I can't have you doing that. The story won't advance. Must. Okay, I'm in. Tell your wrestler that I'm stepping into the ring against Garcia. I can't. Hey, Garcia! Okay. I'm, he's stepping into the ring against Garcia. <laughs> that won't be necessary. Black Scorpion Spade is passed out in front of the door. Oh, okay, I got you. Oh, he, she meant to tell the other wrestler that we're stepping in. Him? Well, excuse me, Rita. <laughs> anyway, right. I need you to I need you to tell uh, the crowd in the form of a pro wrestling promo who you are and why you hate Garcia. <laughs> who is your daddy and what does he do? Yes. <laughs> Pardon me. Kazoo Tyke. Mm. All right, well... Uh, you're absolutely right, though, here. We're coming up towards the end of the video, so next time, we're going to be stepping to the ring with Garcia, seeing if it's Cherry Garcia. <laughs> I was hoping to make an exciting cliffhanger out of whether or not we would accept the match. But we But must. the match itself is probably a more exciting cliffhanger. Hopefully next time, I won't sneeze right into my microphone. <laughs>